hello everyone hope you're doing good well today we are going to fix this error this site can't be reached that's really an annoying error we will be doing five simple steps to fix this site can't be reached and make sure you perform all the steps and let's get started so the very first thing we just have to do a right click on the start icon and then go to run and here you need to type ncpa.cpl I'll maximize so that you can see ncpa.cpl once you have typed click on OK I'll just a new window will appear where you will have all of your network adapters so I have my network adapter selected I'll just do a right click and go to properties and then once this is open I'll select Internet Protocol version 4 and then go to properties again make sure obtain IP address automatically should be selected and the DNS should be also selected automatically so this site can't be reached generally occurs when we have any kind of uh, IP address set or a proxy so here we can check that and then we will move to the next step I'll tell you two commands which you need to follow which please take a note of this command we are going to run this command now in the search bar type CMD C as in Charlie M as in Mike D as in David once this is done we need to click on run as an administrator and say yes now here just type this command net sh space winsock space reset space catalog so I'll just note it down and I'll paste it here and hit enter so the moment you do that it will say successfully reset the winsock catalog you must restart the computer so we will be restarting the computer once we are done with the command so once this is done type the next command and type it here and hit enter so the moment you hit enter it will reset all the network proxy pattern and addresses so basically we are refreshing the internet so if you're getting this site can't be reached it will be fixed most probably with this solution once this is done we will move step which is up updating the network adapter so for that just do a right click on the start icon and go to device manager now in the device manager we are looking for network adapters so here you just need to select your network adapter so in my case I'm using Intel Wi-Fi so I'll just select that I'll just do a right click so if you're using a cable connection you should select Ethernet connection and if you're using a Wi-Fi then select the Wi-Fi one just do a right click on that click on update driver search automatically for drivers so if it says the best driver is already installed not to worry about it that's fine we will just close that restart the computer and see if it's working or not and if it's not then we will move to the last step which is troubleshooting so just type troubleshoot in the search bar and then click on troubleshoot settings and then click on additional troubleshooters and select internet connections and just click on run troubleshooter now the moment you do it it will start detecting the problems and most probably it will fix the problem let me know in the comment section if that issue is fixed or not I'll try my best to fix your problem and please hit the like and subscribe I'll see you in the next video